I've had some time and space away from Ashley, but I just texted her because I want some things I left over at her house and she didn't respond the way I thought she would. You're my little pumpkin pie. You make my life so sweet. You look cute. Thanks. Gracias. We just played outside a little bit and a bee came and ended our outside time. Nice. We were were you good? Outside for a little while. He was real good. So what are you up to? My friendship with Ashley has ended. Do you want to tell me more about that? Pretty sure you know most of the story. Like, she's supposed to watch Brayson. She yes. didn't follow through. We didn't talk at all. So finally, I texted her. I was like, hey, I need my stuff back. I have a lot of there. And she messaged back, and she was like, you can get your back. It's in the corner where you left it. You disappear and avoid because you're young and immature. You aren't even worth my energy, nor do you deserve my friendship. I feel bad for Brayson because you'd, you'd rather this and continue to not own whatever this is and remove pr people from his life who have benefited it. Right. And I said, you didn't give a to reach out, so don't act like you're the greatest friend. So I promise you, Ashley, you've never benefited either of our lives, but keep telling yourself that. Realistically, you're not worth my time and you're not very mature yourself. Have a great one, Ashley. And I muted the conversation. I deserve better in a friendship. Like I keep preaching about how I deserve better in a relationship, but like even my friendships, like I deserve someone who's gonna put effort into our relationship. Mm -hmm. Show that you're trying. I feel like you guys were both there for each other a lot, but with your guys' age difference, she cannot put herself in your shoes. It is hard. Empathy but as a and friend, sympathy. realness and friendship is being there. I deserve yeah. someone who's going to be there for me. I don't know. I get that. It's true. It just sucks. Because I thought she was like my best friend. Yeah. It is what it is. It's been a week since my miscarriage, and I'm still hurt because my dad hasn't spoken to me at all. Papa. Papa? Papa's coming. But he finally <laughs> reached out to me today and is coming by to see us. That wasn't a knock. It's enough knock to come in. Hi. We got lunch. Camille, come here. Madison, how are you feeling? About what? I guess physically. I mean, I'm good. Better than the last time we were together. I was definitely shocked, Madison. That wasn't how I wanted to tell y'all. When I envisioned you with a baby in this one, just see it being really difficult. I never felt to begin with that now was the right time to have a baby. Like she said, it's not like we were trying, but once it happened, we were happy about it. What reason really would I have to get an abortion or something? Like, what would my reason be? Because it's really difficult and you want to give but her I feel, the world. I, I feel like I laid down in the bed. I did the work to make the baby. I can do the work to provide for the baby. You know what I mean? It's my responsibility. Are you in a different headspace with the whole thing now where you feel like it's your responsibility to be on birth control? <laughs> no. I ain't going on birth control. Or practice safe sex. Baby. I ain't talking about my sex life to y'all. I mean, I'm not and I got pregnant. specific sex questions. I mean safe. If birth what, control what do you mean by safe? Condoms. And how are those exactly safe? They don't always work. <clears throat> There's other options. I mean, the pullout method. Oh, it's, yeah. it's got us this far almost five years and only two pregnancies. I think that's pretty damn good. I mean, I think it would be stupid for y'all to get pregnant again, and even more stupid to not try to do everything that you can to keep it from happening. If we were actively yeah. trying for a kid, yeah. then you could put your two cents in about that. I just had a miscarriage, Dad, and then you want to tell me that. Just think about that. You feel like he's not being sympathetic. Well, he hasn't done to me. What am I supposed to say to you? No, I'm not about to be done. <laughs>
Drew since he came to visit Hazley. And if he's not going to make an effort, I'm not going to give him another chance. Yeah, I did it. Good job. So, Drew got out of prison, obviously. And, like, he saw Hazley that one day. He has not hit me up since then. I'm definitely not going to let him just do absolutely nothing and then come around and jump in and out of her life. I just don't think it's healthy. If my dad did that, I'd be traumatized. Pretty, pretty upset yeah. growing up. But then here you are providing and like helping us and you've always like been there for me since we've gotten together. So like, how does he deserve that title? You know what I mean? Yeah, that makes sense. Nothing's really gonna change unless he changes. But for me, it's like, I already have like a settled out life. We have a family and it's like, I'm not trying to take that from him and it may seem like that. Like I get he's the biological father, but how it's looking, I don't mean to doubt him, but I just don't think he's gonna change. Like, I just really don't. Give me the kisses. Yay, mommy! Give mommy good sugars. No, like this. Mm -hmm. It's your birthday! Yay! <laughs> I love my baby. 